The first answer in the entire industry to this problem right here, copper to aluminum. Now, why would we create, why would we create a product that would uh, solve this problem? It's because it's not out there. There isn't anything like this out there. I'll show you how this works, okay? So this is a little different formulated rod. This is made for copper to aluminum. All we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the metals, but we're gonna bring the heat down to the copper. Because it's, uh, it takes a lot more temperature, yeah. but at the same time, aluminum will melt at what temperature? 1200 degrees. We're just gonna start heating up the aluminum. And then we're gonna move down to the copper. And also by heating the copper, it'll draw the material down into the joint, which is also very important, okay? And then we'll start just testing it and seeing where we're at temperature wise. And it flows in just a beautiful, look at that, just a capillary flow all the way around. All the way done. Why is it important for the filler metal in between the copper and the aluminum? Copper and aluminum are dissimilar metals. They can't touch. If they touch, it creates that corrosion, right? So in that, we use a filler metal to go all the way around it like that and it keeps them from touching and then you know you have a uh, a fix this is the only stuff on the market so this is uh why it's such a big seller right now so this is called alcop brace <laughs> aluminum to copper brazing rods